Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your December 11th to the 20th, 2018 reading for you. Now, I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, so we're just going and shuffling them a couple more times, connecting with your energy, making sure that you hear the message from Spirit, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant that you need to hear. And I also want to let you know that I'm doing a giveaway for the holiday season, and this is going to be, I think I'm going to do, I have to think about it a bit more, but I think I'm going to be doing one free reading a week you what you have to do in order to enter to win the contest is that you have to subscribe to the channel give it give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below i'm doing it in all the videos for december 11th to the 20th onward and i think i'm also going to put out another video to define what i'm doing because this is about a month ahead i'm posting it a month ahead so I want to make sure that people who watch them, watch the videos as they come out, can see them. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, there are some specials going on. Um, just click the um, in the description box and you'll get a link to my website, deanhearttarot.com. Well, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, you have, I mean, this is a tra transition into the new year. You do have, you know, yourself being aware there are some bit of treachery going on around you but you are really moving forward in a beautiful way you need to take time for yourself absolutely that's how i want to start the reading it's absolutely telling you that you need to take time for yourself because things are weighing heavily on your shoulders and there's a sense of things needing to be fair so before we even you know start with the first card over here i want you to know to take time for you i want you to you know be open with your emotions and and, and feel what needs to be felt because there's almost a sense of turbulence that calms down, all right, as, as we take that time for you. And it's not being selfish. It's not being self-centered. I know that we as human beings have that problem. A lot of us, some of us don't, but a lot of us have that problem of, you know, taking time for yourself, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and then thinking, well, you're taking time for yourself about how guilty you feel because you should be doing all these other things. So don't have that guilt come out. Your first card is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a new beginning of prosperity. And this is actually you being able to put money in the bank. All right, for some of you, I do think it's financial, but for some of you, it's going to be whatever you value as much as money, whatever you need. You're going to start being able to share it with others, share it with the community, share it with family, friends, you know, whomever you want to, but also to be able to have that reserve for yourself. And I think that's definitely where this taking time for yourself comes in because you have the pentacles up here, you have nine of the 10 pentacles, and then one on the table here. You have the apple tree here, and then you have her sharing the apples with the little boy. So know that as you move forward, there's a sense of sharing your prosperity, sharing your bounty, sharing your beauty, but also taking time for yourself and making sure that you have that reserve. Because if you're completely drained, there will be nothing left for you to give. Okay. Or you'll be given, you'll be giving from, I don't want to say your soul, but kind of, you know, when you're exhausted, but you're still giving and you're just getting, even more exhausted because you're pulling so deep from the energy within you in order to give to everybody else. Have that reserve, have that prosperity waiting for you and know that you're going to have enough to give to a community, but also that a community is going to be giving back to you. This isn't you giving and giving and giving and never getting anywhere in return. There's a sense here with the Six of Pentacles of things needing to be balanced which correlates perfectly into what the Ten of Pentacles said. Things need to be balanced. There's a sense of things not being balanced in what is expected, in money, in everything. You're sitting there and you're looking at things and going, this is not fair. And actually, I think you're a little ticked about it, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And I think it's good to let those emotions show because this is my Minor Arcana Justice card, which you are represented by the Justice card in the Major Arcana. So in a sense, I think this is very much telling you, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, to balance the scales to see what it is that you desire and to be open and true with yourself. Not that you're lying to yourself, but I think you always smile and you always try to make everything fine. And now it just isn't, it just isn't and that's okay. You're seeing that the scales are unbalanced. You're seeing that people keep on having their hands out. And this isn't for you to be nasty or mean, but this is for you to make sure that you're being appreciated, that you are being respected and that you are being honored as you open your soul and yourself to everybody else around you. This is also saying, watch where your money's going. Watch where it's going. I mean, especially during this time of year, money can just fly away. So make sure you know where your money's going. Make sure you know 
what it is that you need to do in order to live in your prosperity and have the most bounty that you can out of life. This is setting up boundaries. I really think so. Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant and putting yourself first. As the new year comes in, because one pentacle can represent Jupiter, the other Saturn, and you're going to feel as if things are really changing up, but you're moving forward in endless prosperity. But as the new year comes, you're going to feel a sense of things really changing. And maybe you don't feel as balanced as you should be because he's on one foot and there's a little bit of trickery and the emotions are raging. He's with the waters behind him. So as you are embracing what it is that you desire, as you are moving forward in a way that is what you want in this kind of evolution of soul that is bringing you closer and closer to the prosperity that you were born to live in, you need to have your feet firmly planted on the ground and you need to not let other people's words and other people's actions define who you are. And I know, especially for me personally, that is so hard. What people say, what people do, it has a huge impact. But you are now living for yourself, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And again, that's not in a selfish way. And I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, she's being so selfish in this reading. But you can if you want to. What this is saying is that things need to be balanced as you move forward. You're juggling so much and you're trying so hard to do your best that you don't need the harshness and the hurtfulness of other people to start defining your beauty and your prosperity. Stay firmly planted on the ground with your feet, with yourself. You know, have your anchor there. And even though your emotions are raging, know that you are doing your best. And nobody else gets to tell you otherwise. Because here, you have the star card. And I love the star card because it is... A wish being granted after a time of sorrow, after a time of pain, after a time of hardship. You have sent your wish out into the universe, to divinity, to God, if that's who you call it. And you're being listened to. So I don't ever want you to think, and the cards don't want you to think, that this isn't going to move forward. That you're going to be stuck in the same humdrum day after day after day. This is you being here. And this is things slowly and steadily moving forward. Now you might sit there and say, Dane, you say this, you say things are moving forward and you say that blessings are coming, but I never see them. Sometimes blessings come in the smallest ways. And what we take for granted are actually little miracles. And so when you start seeing things differently and when you start living with a sense of being deserving of those miracles, they start coming more and more often. And it's hard. I'm not going to say it's easy. And I'm not going to say, oh, you know, change your mind and you change your life. You do, but it's that almost sounds flippant. You know, it takes so much more work than change your mind and you change your life. It's going through hardships. It's going through pain. It's learning through struggle. And that's what the star card is saying here. But that you are heard and that you are never alone. So I don't want you to think that as you are moving forward, nobody ever hears you and you've been abandoned because you haven't, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And things might just be taking longer to happen because time in the spiritual realm is so different than time here on the earthly plane, but that you are getting closer and closer and closer to your goals. And inch by inch, right? Life's a cinch, isn't that how the saying goes? And sometimes it's three steps forward and five steps back, but you're getting there. Be kind to yourself on this journey, okay? rest, take care of yourself. You'll, as you take time for you, you're going to open your eyes and see blessings come in the most unexpected places. Okay. That's why that cup is up there. Why would a cup be hanging in a tree? That's just silly. Blessings will be coming in unexpected places. And it's a sense of serenity of soul and prosperity of spirit that is leading you forward. Do not feel as if it's selfish to take time for you. Sometimes you just need to step back and breathe. And that's what you're doing. And it's going to be beautiful. Now, you do have the Three of Cups here, which for me, and not for every reader, but for me, it is a sign of treachery. No, not for every deck, but in this one, yes. Her cup isn't raised as high as everybody else's. You know, she's celebrating, but I just feel as if this is saying to beware, just beware of, you know, not everybody having your best interests at heart, of, you know, you doing your best and people still demanding more. And I think that's where it comes into the trickery as you go into the new year and the things needing to be balanced. Because Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I have a feeling you would bend over backwards for people and you're seeing that they're not bending over backwards for you. And so you're reassessing and you're saying, okay, you know, for those who celebrate me, for those, and it doesn't mean that they have to celebrate you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but for those people who respect you and who honor you, yeah, go the extra mile. But for those who don't, leave them behind. It's not worth it. Your clarifying cards are the Emperor 
and the Two of Cups. The Emperor is moving forward in prosperity. The Emperor is sitting there being passionate and being wise and saying, this is what I'm doing. The Two of Cups is embracing love, healing beautiful love. For those of you who are wanting to fall in love, okay, it is falling in love with somebody who is strong and confident and competent, who heals your soul and knows the fragility of the human nature. For those of you who are not looking to fall in love, it's a healing of your soul. And it's an understanding of pain and sorrow and knowing how fragile life is. The angels are watching over you and you are being absolutely blessed. So I think how this goes is just like this. And now if this way of arranging the cards doesn't resonate for you, that's okay, but there's a fluidness to this, and I want you to know that with the cards, especially in general readings. There's a sense here of prosperity coming in, okay, of needing to be balanced and needing to know that not everybody is kind and that even though your emotions are raging, as the new year comes in, you might have doubts and fears, but you're actually moving forward towards prosperity. There are going to be people who try to trip you up, okay? There are going to be people who sit there or are either jealous or whose incompetence gets you mad, and you're sitting there and you need to step back. And you need to see the blessings that you have and know that new ones are coming. A calming of emotions as you move forward. A balancing of the scales of your prosperity as your wishes are being granted. As your soul's wish in, is being heard. And you move forward in prosperity. Being able to give but not give everything to everyone. Being able to have that reserve that lets you be like an emperor on your throne. Knowing your prosperity and knowing your wisdom. Knowing your bounty and moving forward in healing beautiful love. The Two of Cups, the Minor Arcana Lover's card, is what's driving you forward. And you're embracing that love and that prosperity and letting nothing stand in your way. Your subconscious message is the Three of Wands. You're moving forward. You are moving forward and nothing is stopping you. Your ships are coming in. Your prosperity is, is increasing. And you're seeing that the gamble that you took, okay, on yourself. Because I think this, is, this reading is talking about you, taking a gamble of you, on you, and sitting there and saying, yeah. I can do it. You can do exactly what you set your mind out to achieve in work, in school, in life. There is a sense of as you move into the new year, as you move into this new stage of existence, there's a sense of prosperity coming with you and you're not fully on your feet yet. Libra Sun Moon are ascendant, meaning that you still have more to learn and you still have, you know, struggles to go through, especially with people not keeping their words and you not taking time to take care of yourself. Okay, you giving to everybody else and not getting in return what it is exactly that you desire, but you're learning, okay? And as you're learning, the universe is hearing what your soul desires. And as you're moving forward, and this isn't saying in these 10 days, but this is saying in the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come, these 10 days are kind of like a jumping board. As you learn, as you desire to move forward, they're hearing your soul's wish, whether that be to go into a certain form of study, whether that be to start your own business, whether that be to have the happy, you know, life that you want with a partner, a soul's partner, it's being heard and you're going to start moving forward in prosperity. But what you always have to remember, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, is to keep a reserve for you because your ships are coming in. And with that reserve for you, you're going to be able to handle any obstacles that come your way. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.